Hi everyone. So this is the video that I promised uh, to come back and film that I didn't have time to do in my recent video. And I just wanted to um, go over this particular printable that I had made. I really love the, um, the vintage-y feel of it, but I think it's got enough color that it's that it could be used in a journal that's not a vintage style. But I wanted to show you something, um, and I'm sure you've seen this before, but this is just a little tip for you. If you take a piece of paper or cardstock, I, I used cardstock here, and I just traced out uh, one of my tags, and then I cut out the inside, and that way you can take this little template and you can hold it, um, you know, you can lay it over an item like this and decide what you think would, would make a good tag, what you think would look nice. And it gives you a really good idea of um, where you can cut a tag from without having to do guesswork, basically. So what I did is I printed out this same printable on a piece of cardstock and I drew around and cut out these two tags, these two large tags. I love these, I think they look so cool. And the leftover bits, I cut a smaller tag and a journaling card and I rounded the corners. And that's just a simple way to use a sheet like this in a quick way. And they all match, blend together and it's just a fun way to do that. Um, and then you also have, you know, the leftover bits. This is what was left over from cutting out these four items. And all of this can definitely be used to um, add to journal pages or tags or whatever, um, just little strips and stuff. So I think that's pretty awesome. You, you can use every bit of it. All right, um, what I wanted to um, show you today was I wanted to work on, I wanna use a little bit of this printable and create something. And I wanna use this guest check that I had stained with some coffee, gosh, probably a year or more ago. <laughs> and I love it. And it turns out it's the same tones as this printable. And I thought that would be so fun to just tear some little bits off and add to this and maybe decorate it and put it in my coffee journal. So what I did was I printed it out in a five by seven size. And that way the print and the images become smaller. And when I'm working on a small item like this, I like for the images to be smaller. You know, that's the same reason we buy uh, the six by six scrapbook pads because the print is smaller and it's so perfect for these little small items. You know, much different than a 12 by 12 size. All Everything has just kind of shrunk down and that's why I like to shrink these down. So I printed out a five by seven. Actually, I printed two five by sevens on one sheet of paper. So I thought it would just be fun to, you know, tear some little bits off of here and just decorate this little guest check and I'm, I have no idea what I want to do I, other than I want to use some little bits of this. And I also grabbed out some other little vintage coffee sort of looking bits to uh, possibly use. I, I don't know that I will or not. I just grabbed out a few things. Uh, I thought this tea bag might be cool to, to glue on somewhere and it would kind of change the color of it. It would make it, um, you know, the brown tone like coffee toned. So uh, I may use that. This one is a piece of tissue paper. I think that would look cool too because you'll be able to see uh, the stuff through. I have a, a plane crossing over. Okay, I just think that would be really cool because you can see the images through the tissue paper once it's wet and glued down. So I may, if I do those two, I'll do some of that first and then I'll maybe add some other little bits. But for now, I want to just go ahead and see, let's see, let's lay that aside for a minute. Let's go ahead and see what we're going to put over here. I think, maybe it would look cool just to have that right in the middle. 
and then I can decorate around and the whole thing is sort of a, a brown tone. I mean, not the whole thing, obviously, the edges won't be. All right, I'm gonna cut off the, um, the rougher edges here where the tea bag is crimped just to make it flatter. I wonder if it'll tear. Oh yeah, that's even better. Get a nice torn edge, that's cool. Okay, I figured the edges will probably have some kind of covering, at least one edge, so maybe I'll move it over to one side and go ahead and get the entire thing over to the, to the side there. I kind of want to tone down the red number just a little bit, so I want to make sure that the tea bag goes over that red. Okay, and I'm going to glue that down just a little bit further with my glue and water mixture. Um, I didn't hit it with the glue stick uh, over the entire surface, so I want to make sure that it gets wet and stuck down. <clears throat> I'm not really putting a ton of wet glue on it, just the slightest little amount to make it stick and blend into the page. And it helps the background images and all show up better too. That looks so cool. <laughs> okay. And I'm trying not to uh, put any glue on the coffee images that aren't covered because I don't want them to smear and run. So I'm avoiding those. <laughs> okay, I like that. So I'm going to dry that real quick, and then I'll be back. And it looks really cool. I love that um, aged look to it. That's really neat. All right, next I want to maybe put a little bit of this on.
think that's a fun little layered tag. Um, not really a tag. It could be a tag. I could trim the corners. Um, it could be a journaling card. I'm just not sure exactly what I want it to be, but I know that I have a page in my coffee journal that it will go on that doesn't have anything on it yet. So let me see if I can find it now. Here it is. I was thinking about putting it opposite this this color here because it works so well together. Isn't that the cutest thing? Just simple and cute. I love it. All right, so that's what I wanted to show you today. Is I wanted to decorate this little guest check and um, have it in here with a little cup of coffee and I just think that's so fun. So I'm going to just go ahead and attach this into my book. I've got to come back and finish up this little coffee journal. It's just about full. I might be able to put a little bit of my um, tape, my little doodle tape in here. was really fun and it sure made this page look fun I love that so much so I hope you guys enjoyed it and um, come back and join me again in the next video um, don't forget this uh, printable is available in my Etsy store and also this other one that I talked about in my last video all right so you guys take care and we will see you again soon bye bye